Hey guys, today I want to make a quick beginner guide for Punishing Grey Raven in 2022 because I think a lot of new players will be joining the game because they saw that beautiful near Automata collab. So welcome to Punishing Grey Raven. This is one of the hardest mobile games that I have ever played but also one of the most free-to-play friendly one as well. So I made a new account to see the game from the beginner POV and I'm glad to say that the game is not that much different but there are some changes. There's one new function in this game that I really, really like, which is the mentor student system. Whenever you unlock this, you need to get yourself a mentor immediately. It doesn't matter. You can mass apply to anyone and they will love to have you because a mentor, a teacher can also get a lot of benefit from getting all the student. You will have a lot of different mission. You can get these mission and they are very, very easy. And each of these missions will give you a lot of EXP reward. And that will be your account EXP. You can level up very, very fast with this system. So get yourself a mentor pretty much immediately. So when you start the game, you go to your inbox, you have this S rank construct pick. And you are very curious on who you should pick. The advice that we used to have back in the days is still the same. But I don't think anyone would pick Lee anymore because the near Automata team is actually a physical damage dealing team and they are incredibly strong. If you start playing now, you have a very good chance of acquiring the entire team and you won't have a spot for Lee on your team in the first month. So your choice will be between Karanina and Nanami. So these two belong together. The game has an element system. So they have elements like dark, fire, physical, lightning, and usually a team is a mono element team. So you have a fire healer, a fire tank to defense break the enemy, and a fire damage dealer. So Karanina is the fire damage dealer, and Nanami is the fire tank. So you could pick between these two and try to roll for the other character. A lot of people might be going for Liv because Liv is hella cute, but also the game gives you a free physical healer right off the bat. So there's not much of a need for Liv immediately, and the last option is Kamui, the dark tank. There are two dark A rank characters that you can pull in the normal summoning that you're gonna do for your S rank character. You might pull them by accident and you will complete your dark team very, very easily. So either you want a fire team or the dark team. But to be honest, you can play with whatever you want in this game if you don't care about the meta or about high score or about big damage number. You can play with anything. You can pick Lee because you like the guy with the gun or you can pick Liv because she's cute and her coating, her skin is amazing. That's one of the biggest reasons I like this game. You can just play it however the hell you want if you don't care about high score or meta. One of the basic strategy for choosing the S rank character is you're gonna finish your beginner summoning pool. So usually you will need to finish 60 attempt to get an S rank, but because you are a beginner, the game allow you to get your first S rank in 40 attempts. If you get a fire character like Nanami or Karanina, you can choose the other one in the S rank selector. If you get Kamui, you can pick Kamui to double S him. The game has a dupe system. You can rank up character using your dupe. So if you get Kamui, you can double S Kamui immediately with the S rank selector. But because we're in the collab period, you don't have to spend your premium currency in the base summoning pool. You can save up all your black cards, the premium currency for the collab banner. But if you start the game right now, you don't even have to spend anything on these collab banner if you're not willing to spend money because these two characters that are available right now, you can get them for free. One of them will be given for you just by logging in for seven days. And A2 will be available if you play the event mode and you can farm for her shards. Which means if you're free to play and you start the game today, you don't have to do any summon. You can just enjoy the game, enjoy the story, go through different game modes and just have fun. You don't have to summon for anything. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. Actually, you can summon if you have the purple ticket because you cannot exchange this for the collab ticket. So if you have some of these, you can blow them in the base beginner banner. And maybe I'll get an S rank right now. All right, just kidding. That is not S rank, unfortunately. What do we get for our first 10? Oh, <laughs> dude, it took me so long in my main account to get her. We got her. Wait, I mean, I can choose to get her. And what am I even talking about? The, the game 
allow you to actually choose who to get in terms of a rank character in the base banner she's the dark healer you can check the details to see what kind of element they have if you're unsure so she's the dark healer the moment i get the dark damage dealer i can use the s rank selector to get myself as kamui so this guy right here is a dark tank i'm gonna try my best to get my hands on my dark damage dealer and then my dark team is complete but you might be wondering hey i heard this is a near automatic collab where the fuck is 2b so 2b will not be available right now 2b will be available on the 20th of july so you have a couple days until then to save up your currency so you can blow them all in a 2b banner but sean this is a gacha game if i'm not summoning what am i doing you can actually play the game yes the game requires you to actually play the damn game so what you want to do first is you want to unlock the story mode and you want to finish as far as you can at least to unlock pain cage and war zone so these are the challenge modes and these two are the basic of your premium currency farming or black card farming this will be your main income your salary on playing the game the way that you farm the premium currency and this game is so free to play that if you play every day you complete every single mission in the game you don't have to spend any money to get your favorite character like ever the game is too free to play <laughs> it's ridiculous so if you start the game right now just go through the story and unlock these different modes that are story block also there are many other modes that you can try out that will give you black card as well but they will change depending on when you are playing this game so if you're watching this video in like three months this might change but these are the different event modes you also have the resource farming stages that you will probably never use yes i'm not kidding so in the early game you have to unlock them because the tutorial tell you to do so and you have to farm a little bit of them to get some material to upgrade your character but for the most part you will probably never touch these because they are not efficient compared to farming the event stage in the past when we start the game we don't have like a farming event stage immediately so we had to farm in here but after the event stage is here in the game which is pretty much every patch you don't really go back to the resource farming material anymore unless they will buff in the future but i don't think that will ever happen if you're not reading the main story because it's too long hey take your time to read the side story for every single character that you pull to get to know more about them and they're mostly very sad and tragic so prepare your tissue okay also for these missions you might be intimidated but don't worry trust me if you just do them with minimal effort every single day you will clear every mission here no problem the game can be very casual friendly they have auto clear button for most of everything in the game so that your daily will probably take like five minutes but it is also very hardcore friendly so if you are like a tryhard gamer you want to challenge yourself you can get like extremely high score in these modes and you can challenge yourself in the border pack it is extremely difficult so don't worry it can be very casual if you want to be casual it can be very hardcore if you want to be the gamer that you strive to be there'll be a lot of mission along the way from the game to guide you through how to play the game and reward you with a lot of currency so i hope that by the end of the event you will be able to get 2b unfortunately you might not have enough black card to guarantee you a 2b copy a lot of people start like a patch earlier to save up the currency so they can guarantee themselves a copy of 2b but because you start late you might not get a guaranteed copy so i wish you the best of luck but if you are planning to spend a little bit in the game also there are some free supply pack that you can get every day and every week so please do get them okay don't forget to get these it's very important but if you plan to spend a little bit of money every single month then you want to get yourself the monthly pass the one to give you black card every day or daily bonus which is pretty amazing i myself i got all of them but if you want to get one of them then you can get either the monthly pass c or the monthly pass a it will depend on how many dollar you are willing to spend the game also right now there are some collab packages that you can buy but the good one that include the character shot is not available right now so you don't have to buy anything right now they'll be available later during the collab period so you can buy exactly what character shot that you need so don't buy right now okay 
if you want to buy something, buy the monthly pass. They are very, very good value. All right now we're back to my main account because I want to show you guys the event. When you hit level 40, you will unlock this event. And don't worry, level 40 is like two, three days. It won't take you that long. Every patch will come with a shop and it will come with an event stage where you can farm the event currency. You can trade for any, anything that you want in here. So you don't really have to farm in the resource stages at all. You can buy exactly what memory you want in whichever slot you want. Almost every memory is available. There will be two different stages for you to farm in the event stage. So I recommend you farm the first one so you can get the most event currency possible. So you can trade for whatever you want. The second one will drop less event currency, but it will drop memory. But for early game player, you will need a lot of different resources to progress in the game. So you can farm the first one over and over and over again. And when you can start playing the 